On June 20th, 2011, three men battled for a chance to challenge John Cena for his WWE Championship. Alberto Del Rio, Rey Mysterio, CM Punk, the winner, will face John Cena for the WWE Championship. Remember, triple threat rules, first man to pick up a pinfall wins. Six one done. Mysterio, will he be number one contender at Punk? CM Punk saving it. CM Punk is number one contender. But a shot at the gold was not enough for CM Punk. Punk was determined to ignite a spark of change in the WWE. Brutal honesty I'm known for. July 17th is the day my contract with World Wrestling Entertainment comes to an end. When the clock strikes midnight, I am leaving. And I am leaving with the WWE Championship. John Cena goes one-on-one -on -one with R-Truth in a tables match. To bring about the change he so desperately desired, the best in the world set his sights on the champion. What's Punk doing out here? The number one contender and the WWE Champion going at it. And look at Truth! Truth puts Cena through a table! Punk has cost Cena the match! He don't care what he does right now, I don't think. The WWE Universe was about to learn that the most dangerous men are the ones that feel they have nothing to lose. There's one thing you're better at than I am, and that's kissing Vince McMahon's ass. Do I have everybody's attention now? The only thing that's real is me. Oops, I'm breaking the fourth wall. For almost six years, I have proved to everybody in the world that I am the best on this microphone, in that ring, and I'd like to think that maybe this company will be better after Vince McMahon's dead. If CM Punk defeats you, he's gonna walk out of here. I'm gonna be embarrassed. This iconic battle at Money in the Bank was CM Punk's proving ground. You beat to your own drum, but in the path of doing things you wanna do, you've lost sight of everything. I am the underdog, and you are is what you hate. You're a dynasty. The stakes had never been higher. If CM Punk walks out with this championship, yeah, fire! This was Punk's chance to make history. Say goodbye to the WWE title and say goodbye to CM Punk. Do I have everybody's attention now? Ladies and gentlemen, a partisan hometown crowd here in Chicago for CM Punk. Well, that's right. CM Punk is in front of his hometown followers, and that's what John Cena is going to have to overcome. You know, I have never seen this much hometown emotion.
and gentlemen, this contest is set for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Introducing first, the challenger from Chicago, Illinois, weighing 222 pounds, C. And Punk and his opponent from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing 240 pounds, he is the current WWE Champion, John Cena. And ladies and gentlemen, it's all about the WWE Championship, the holy grail of the WWE King, formed by Mr. McMahon's father, Vince Sr., back in 1963. That's right, and CM Punk wants to take it from the WWE. And here we go. Will this be CM Punk's ultimate moment to disgrace WWE? Will he leave? the company with the 50-year legacy of the double WWE title. I wouldn't doubt it for a minute, Cole. CM Punk always seems to get the job done when the pressure's on. And this hometown crowd is certainly going to do their part. You know that. Well, without a doubt, King. I just saw a sign that said, if CM Punk loses, we riot. <laughs> Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one can come out ahead. You want to know what I don't understand? It's this following. I don't understand all the fans that follow CM Punk when what he is saying is, if he wins this big match tonight, he's turning his back on all these people and leaving. The problem is Chicagoans are a very proud people. We see it here tonight. And what is ironic is Chicago has been a great WWE city, perhaps the best over the last 40 or 50 years. Yeah, Michael, but what a slap in the face it would be tonight if he wins and says, goodbye, everybody. I just don't get it. And neither do I, King. I wonder if the crowd here in Chicago would change their tune if CM Punk walks away. You'd have to think they'd be upset over their hometown hero walking away, or maybe not. I don't know. This entire situation is just so complex. Here we go with Punk. I don't care if you are five years old. Every young man that has dreams of stepping into a WWE ring has dreams of one day becoming the WWE Champion. I mean, that's what it's all about. Triple H said the same thing once, that if you are not in this business to be the WWE Champion, you might as well go home. What an impact from that kick. No, not again. You hear how his leg connected? A quick cover and a kick out. This will be a physical battle. Oh, look at the emotion. See a punk gathering attention in a hurry. Pure power, just physically dominant. Oh. We were both ringside on WrestleMania 22 here in Chicago when John Cena fought Triple H. CM Punk was there too, and that was before he was even part of the company. I remember it well. CM Punk was dressed as a gangster, toting a Tommy gun and an old school hat with a zoot suit. 
hanging on the running board of a 1940 streetcar. You know, now that I think of it, that match was great foreshadowing for this matchup here for the WWE Championship. Well, I agree, King, but no one would have thought back then that CM Punk would be here tonight trying to lead the company with the WWE Championship in hand. And he gets back in the ring. He's got him up. No, not again. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Wow, he's still down after that. King, the McMahon family has been promoting fights since the early 20th century. It all started with Mr. McMahon's grandfather, Jess McMahon, who was a prominent matchmaker in both the boxing and wrestling world. And tonight, CM Punk may very well flush the near 100-year legacy down the toilet. Oh, man, without a WWE Championship to promote, I don't know what Mr. McMahon would do. That title is why everybody in the locker room works so hard. And that was a huge counter. Look at CM Punk here. Wow, he's still down after that. Uh-oh, look at this. Oh! Trying to put him away. You know, I agree that Mr. McMahon is doing everything in his power to keep this title here. What I don't agree with is how Mr. McMahon put extra pressure on John Cena over the outcome of this match. You know, come on, Vince McMahon did say that, hey, I take calculated risks. That's how I created my empire. But he did admit that he's afraid that John Cena won't beat CM Punk here tonight. He did what he had to do to secure Punk a deal, but it didn't happen. Well, I just think there's a better way of going about the whole situation. But we'll find out soon enough. This is a weird feeling. I don't know if I have ever experienced anything like this. This crowd is going nuts. Well, here in Chicago, CM Punk is called a hero. But in other places, he's called a rebel, an anarchist, or simply a traitor. People have called him selfish and jealous and delusional. The one thing we do know is CM Punk has refused to sign the latest contract offer to stay with the company. At midnight tonight, CM Punk is leaving WWE, and he may be doing it with the WWE title. Well, we're going to find out. But I don't know how smart it is to say no to one of the most lucrative contracts ever put on the table by Mr. McMahon. In the 50-year history of this company, only 40 men have held the honor of being called WWE Champion. And it all started with Buddy Rogers in 1963. And we can't forget the men who came after Buddy Rogers. The likes of Bruno San Martino, Bob Backlund, Hulk Hogan, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold Steve Austin, yeah. The Rock, Triple H, The Undertaker, Edge, Randy Orton, and that man, John Cena. Oh, man, so many big names have held the WWE Championship. It is the symbol of this company. It is everything to the McMahon family. And it may all be washed away here tonight by that man, CM Punk. Mr. McMahon did say earlier, and he was dead on. John Cena brought this upon himself. Cena begged for Mr. McMahon to reinstate Punk, to put himself in this position here tonight. What? Okay, you know what? That's an argument. You can't say that John Cena brought this upon himself by doing the right thing. John Cena was doing what he thought was the right thing, and if this is the outcome, this is what happened. Then, he's only got himself to blame. Sometimes when you try to play hero, it doesn't always turn out the way you expect. That's all I'm trying to say. Ask any superstar what their favorite arena is, and nearly every one of them will tell you this one here tonight. There's something about the acoustics, coupled with the crowd's intense passion for WWE, that makes this place electric. Yeah, but you know what? By the end of the night, Cole, it may become Mr. McMahon's least favorite arena. Listen to this crowd. They want to see CM Punk walk away with the WWE Championship. He's looking at it. CM Punk is getting ready here. Go to sleep. Punk's gonna win it. I don't like the way this is starting to look. We got a cover. Two, three. Oh my God. What? Oh my God. CM Punk has won. Here is your winner and new WWE Champion, CM Punk. I cannot believe this! CM Punk has won the WWE Championship!
Jeff, Mr. McMahon is in shock. In one hour, CM Punk is no longer an employee in the WWE. And he's gonna leave his WWE Champion. What is Mr. McMahon gonna do? Stop it, stop the music, stop it, stop it right now. Cut that, cut it, you cut it. Cut that music, cut it. All right, uh, all right, give me that, uh, give me Alberto Ryder, come on, cash it in. Get Alberto Ryder now, come on, let's go. Get Del Rio, the money in the bank winner, and Del Rio's gonna come down and try to cash it in for the title. Oh, look out! Desperate times for Mr. McMahon, but Punk caught him with a roundhouse kick. Del Rio is down and out. And so is Mr. McMahon. The referee never rang the bell. Del Rio never had an opportunity to cash in the contract. And look, Punk is actually leaving. Mr. McMahon's 50-year legacy of the WWE Championship has got up in smoke. Look at poor Mr. McMahon. What's he going to do? This is awful. 